This field contains five dispensers, 45 discs, one fence, and four goal zones. The scoring objects in VIQC Slapshot are orange plastic discs, approximately 2.5 inches in diameter and 0.5 inches tall. Robots begin the match contacting the field perimeter wall that is furthest from the fence. In this area, robots will be interacting with three types of dispensers. Each dispenser has a unique mechanism that robots can activate to remove discs. Each disc that is removed from the dispenser is worth one point. Discs can be scored by launching them under the fence and into the goal zones. There are four goal zones, a two-point zone, three-point zone, four-point zone, and one-point zone. Oh! Robots are not permitted to cross the fence while scoring discs, so they'll need to be accurate and precise if they want to score the most points possible. But that's not all. At the end of the match, robots will get a chance to stretch up over the fence and reach for the contact zones which border the field. If a robot is able to touch down in one of these contact zones, then each disc that is scored in the corresponding goal zone will be worth one extra bonus point. There are four ways to play in the Vex IQ competition. First, two teams will collaborate in 60-second teamwork challenge matches, working together to maximize their score. Both teams will receive the same points. Each of these teams consists of two drivers and one robot. One driver will operate the robot for the first half of the match, and the other driver will operate it for the second half. Second, each team will have the opportunity to play driving skills challenge matches. In these matches, teams have 60 seconds of driver control time to score as many points as possible. Third, each team will also have the opportunity to play programming skills challenge matches, in which they have 60 seconds of autonomous robot operation to score points, no drivers allowed. The scores from driving and programming skills challenges will be combined to determine a robot skills challenge chain. Plus, there will also be remote options available for teams who want to compete from home. Check out the game manual or talk to your REC Foundation manager for all the details. For official game rules and robot requirements for Vex IQ Challenge Slapshot, please see the Vex IQ Challenge game manual found at roboticseducation.org and vexiq.com. To register a team, Find events near you or ask a question on the official Q&A, please visit robotevents.com. Good luck and have a great season.